Hi there, it's Tanya from Tati Treasures. Hello and welcome back. So again, it's one of those, this is the last of, of this year's um, in the series. So this is the last one in the Shabby Dabby Doo Dars Mass Makes where I've been making um, the things with Tim Holtz um, items. So it's episode 20 and it's fabric paper clips these are really very simple i don't think it's going to take very long to to make them at all um so next year the mass makes will be um starting off with the paper pad from bow bunny um so <clears throat> we'll have a look at through the paper um at the beginning of next year so I probably will go back to doing the mass mates with Tim Holtz um, at a later stage because I've only got one paper pad of Bow Bunny. Um, I've got another paper pad called Nature's Gallery which um, I did do a flip through of. So <clears throat> I might do some of the series in, in that as well. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing I will come back to, to Tim Holtz at, at some point. But I'm keen to, um, you know, be making some things so all the pieces of ephemera can go into those things because I've made quite a lot up. So I've been really lucky and um, I found a shop on Etsy. I've looked for a long time to get some Tim Holtz fabric um, and it's always sold in, in the US and um, yeah the postage to the UK is, is astronomical. So, um, yeah, I've kept looking and looking and I think it was Joanna from um, Off the, Off, oh dear, Off Grid Journals. Sorry, Joanna, your name's just totally uh, gone off my, out my head. I think it's Off Grid Journals. Um, she sent me a link to a shop in the UK and they'd got this fabric. So I bought half a metre of it and then um, I went back to give them feedback and I noticed that um, they'd since got um, this the beautiful one with the, with the birds on. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so that's obviously the ones with um, all the bugs on and stuff so it's from the paper in the wallflower scrapbook paper and this one which has got all the butterflies and, and collage on so yeah I add half a meter of all of them and I'm guessing you know these are gonna last me a long time so it's nice to have some so I'm gonna do it with this fabric um because I think these ones will be better for doing journal covers because they're darker, whereas there's quite a lot of light um, parts on, on this. And I'm not going to be using that much anyway. So I've ripped um, part of the side off because that's all the way um, down. And I've not got any jumbo paper clips. I think these are one and a quarter um, inch, so they're not going to be, you know, the the biggest paper clips out there. But um, yeah, they'll be fine. So I was thinking I'll just put that across and kind of get um, a gauge of where where I want. Um, it to be and I'm thinking it's about there so hopefully I'll be able to just rip rip down it because I think ripping will perhaps be neater than uh, what I could cut anyway but oh here goes oh gosh <laughs> oh it seems so brutal doesn't it um so I'll cut to here and then just cut up a little bit. I'm not sure if I'll need more than this or, or not. So for now, I'll just put it to the side. Let me take this off. And it's obviously frayed straight away, which I really don't don't mind at all. I think it adds, adds to it. 
and just pull it out a little bit. Right, so I've not watched the video for, for a little while, so I can't actually remember how she, she did it, but um, I think it was something along these lines. So I'm going to just pull the fabric through like so and I think that would be around the right kind of length so I'll just cut cut that off like so so that's one so when it goes on a page what will it which way will it go So yeah, it would go that way. Okay. Right, so I'll just do all these. I am thinking I am going to need some more fabric uh, ripped. So again, just poke it through ish. Not very good with anything uh, fiddly at all. My fingers seem to go <laughs> go all funny. Um, oh come on, that's it. Just pull it through and go to about that. So that's that one. So that one will go through that way. So we've got two. So yeah, probably going to need the same amount again. Oh, that one went straight through. Well, <laughs> backwards. Let's just straighten, straighten that out. So that's that one. So I shall rip the same same amount again. <clears throat> so that's that. Um, let me just pop them to the side. So where did I go down here? I think I'm going. Well, I might as well carry on um, down this bit then it's all down one side I'm guessing that's only probably going to do if I do two short ones so that's that let's see how many that does and then I can see see how much I want to rip off and I'll just snip it down that and rip that so if I cut that in half on it yeah they'll be fine they'll be just shorter shorter ones so that's two and then <clears throat> I'll just measure it up against this and I'll just snip it Do that one a bit longer. So I'll do it to there. So that's not, not used a lot at all. So I fold that back up because it, it's been ironed beautifully. So it's really been pressed, pressed nice. Right, so let's do the the other ones. Pop that through there. I will probably cut some of the threads off and stuff when um, when I've stuck them down. Let's see if I can remember it, how Tina stuck them. Because I'm guessing you're going to have to get some glue right um, on the wire. Um, 
and onto the fabric so when you're pushing the paper clip in um, the material's not going to you know slide sideways so I'm guessing she lifted the material up and um, put some glue up in the inside first so who knows <laughs> I've never done them with a um, fabric before as you've probably you know guessed so as you can hear I'm still got a cold um it, I don't feel poorly at all now it, it, just um the last bits um but obviously it's it's gone cold and and stuff and then obviously we've had Oh, the build-up for Christmas and, and things. I think the excitement's got to me. Oh, that's a nice one with just the side of the, the butterfly. I mean, really, you could just leave leave these plain. I might leave that butterfly one plain. But um, I'd got some of the field notes um, snippets of Famra out from the um, Tim Holtz. So I thought we could perhaps just stick stick something down on it. So that's that one. So we've done we've done all that bit. Whoa! Didn't we do well? Or well, didn't I do well? <laughs> right. I'm just get getting my board and and. <sighs> As much as I don't really want to use Fabri-Tac, I do think I need to, um, especially, you know, because we want the metal to stick to the um, paper clip. So if we kind of look how we want it, I kind of like that more like that. So... So I don't want to overdo it and then um, be able to see it through the fabric. So I'm going to try my hardest to get it just onto the paper clip. And then the top bit, I am going to use the art glitter glue. Well, I tell a lie because I filled it up with cosmic shimmer now. So it is actually cosmic shimmer. And I only stuck the top bit down. So we'll leave that to, to dry. That's going to go, go okay. But yeah, I think I would like to do these in the botanical series. Maybe with just some um, burlap or something like that. So we'll probably do these again. It's a bit nervous about doing. I think because I, I've not used fabrics a lot, um, it is something uh, quite new. Well, it was funny the other day. Aunt Eleanor's um, top had got a little rip in it, and I said like, "Oh, how I'll, I'll just sew it," you know, without thinking. And then I thought, "Yeah, I actually can." Like. You know, it's only the same as paper. You you sew in. Um, it it only had got you know. Um, so yeah, I just went up and down on it, and obviously I've saved a top from, you know, this hole getting bigger and and bigger and and having to put it in in the bin. So yeah, I think I'm getting a little bit more confident with it. But yeah, I'm still fret a little bit when it's like oh it's material but I'm, I'm glad that like I'm following um Tina's mass mates because obviously you know when you do your own projects you pick and choose what what you want to do um but when you've you know said right I'm gonna do this challenge um 
you know, you're kind of committed to doing it, which is a good thing because um, it gets you to do things that that you would possibly just not bother um, doing. I don't know why that's... I'm just going to cut that. Well, I'll cut them both, actually. So the front side, um, it's a little chunk missing out of it. It's probably out of how I've ripped it down. Yep. So that's that one. Doesn't look like any of the glue's um, seeping through, so that's a, a good thing. She says if she gets a massive blob of um, Fabri-Tac. But yeah, I think if you if you use it quite sparingly, it's normally okay. And say this isn't the thickest fabric. Um, I kind of always thought when I'd seen it on people's journals and that, that it was a little bit like a, a canvassy material. And um, no, it's, it's not at all to make a nice pair of trousers. Not like I'm going to make a pair of trousers, but... Um, yeah, that one with the bugs on, the colouring and that, that would make a really nice pair of trousers, but I don't know how I'd feel about wearing, <coughs> wearing bugs. <laughs> Wearing ants and beetles. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing it's a cotton. Let's try and just get rid of some of these thready bits. Yeah, it must be a cotton, by the way. It's thre uh, threading up and how easy it was to, to rip. a bit stuck up now so that's that one and the last one oh that reminds me I've still got um, the blue um, cotton in my sewing machine I'm going to have to change it back to um green or brown with um, starting the botanicals next year and I do need to um, sew some of the cards, journal cards that I've been making for, for the altered book so yeah I shall get that changed so that's that um, I'm gonna just pop that away because I think I'll just put the embellishments on with um with the cosmic shimmer. I'm gonna call it art glitter glue because every you know we're all gonna get confused. But um, it's I can't notice any difference in it at all. Um, now it's in the same same bottle. So let's go through and just find some <coughs> um tinier bits. I don't know. I don't know if that'd be too wide or not. I'm just gonna be too tall. I mean I could cut the stamps down a little. I don't think we want labels. Gonna be far too big. Oh, I've got some books here. Yeah. I 
obviously sorted all the butterflies out, hadn't I? Look and put them, put them at the bottom. Right, there's a load of small things there. So <coughs> we'll have a look what what we can do with them. I possibly want my ink and my dabber. Um, I'll grab that in case we just want something to to lay it on. Right, so let's have a look at this first one. So let's check that is the, the way that it's going to... Yeah. yeah, and the fabric doesn't move, which is fabulous. So yeah, I like that straight away. But um, obviously it does get, get lost a little bit, so... So very same, same colouring. isn't it um, just I'm just stretching over to see see what I've got let's have a look in here this is a little bit of like a, a linen Yeah, I like that, but that that's just a little bit too too square. So, so yeah, this doesn't need any ink. I shall stick that to that. And I'll stick that to that. And that to that. Let's say. Okay, so it's took a little while to, to all dry. You know what I've not been pulling out just lately? My um, little clips. It's funny how you use something over and over again and then you don't use it for a day and that's it. It's it's out of your life. <laughs> You've totally forgot about it. So I'm just going to pop them clips on to, to help it um, stick. Right, let's do... Let me put my lid on there. Right, we've got this one. So do we want to... Flower. Nope. I quite like that. Quite like the bug, and you know, I'm I'm not into bugs. But yeah, I do quite like the bug. Um, <clears throat> got a little bit of up here it's quite thick though this says so I'll just pull it apart a bit yeah I like that I think um, if I clip it down it's a loss um, a dear fine if I could pick them up Stay. What's that? Obviously, oh dear, I can't talk then. Um, obviously, you can do these with with lace and any bits of. You could do even do them with some thick thick ribbon. Um, obviously, it would be better with your scraps. I've I've only used two molds because that's what I've been doing the old series about and I don't have any scraps because I've not used it yet. 
But so um, yeah, I don't think I used used a lot of it anyway. Well, that could be nice. Oh, I like that. Let's do that. Let's um, have a little bit of this lemon. Let's just cut that bottom bit. It's possibly a little bit too too big. in threads yeah I'll do that done so yeah it's <clears throat> pretty pretty quick let me bring this back up sorry I, I always do obviously if I didn't have the camera on I would um this would be at the edge of the table but yeah it's like about two and a half inches away from the edge of the table but if I move I uh, could possibly start having my camera there anyway anyway enough of that um, yeah, I'm going to leave that one as it is because I really do like that. So that's that one done. That was quick. Um, I'm kind of thinking because there's a stamp there as well. Maybe I do want my... It's all good. I think that's too wide. I don't suppose it matters if anything's coming coming off that. Right, let me get a little bit more um matting stuff. Spider's web. Just cut into this a bit just so it's not so um uniformed. So, so if I have that there and then I'm yeah, I'm gonna do that. I like it. So that's there. Now, do we want the stump over the top or do we want to feel like we want it at the back? I've not inked up, I don't I don't think. It needs it. This so tiny. So that's that one, and then the last one. gets lost in it yeah I think all the botanicals are gonna get lost in it that's quite nice no I don't like that big bug I like that one. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So, that was very easy. 
but yeah these <coughs> little bits and bobs are, are so lovely to have because I mean imagine cutting all these little bits so off oh. right I'm gonna put that down first I think I'm gonna put that onto that like so <coughs> And we'll stick this down. Yep. I'll just clip this down. Right, I'm going to pause. I'm just going to tidy everything away while uh, these are drying. And then we'll take a look at them. See in a second okay they're all finished um yeah i'm really happy with them apart from i think i've done that one the wrong way but does it matter no no so yeah i'd have probably been better doing so many that way anyway um so yeah i always tend to do things the, the same way so yeah i think they'd have probably been better having more more that way but yeah it doesn't doesn't matter at all so here they are uh, really quick and easy and i think they'll look lovely at the top of a page or on a belly band or something like that so thank you for joining me and i will see you next year and we will uh, start it off with taking a look at um the lovely bow bunny i think the pad's called botanicals um let me have a quick look yeah, Botanical journey, Journal Collection. So um, that's what we're going to start next year off with. So thank you very much for joining me and I will see you next year. Bye for now.